So this is going to be Four Card Oracle. Hope you like it. Pay attention. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So this will be a four card oracle for you today. So you can choose from one, two, three, or four, or several of those, or all of those. Just uh, make sure that your mind is clear as to the questions you want to ask. And, uh, and uh, that's a good way to enter into this. So I just want to remind you that this is a good time to settle your mind. Uh, maybe uh, stop the tape, run and get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, maybe a glass of water, and uh, really consider the questions that you want to ask or the issues that you want to deal with in this draw. So this, these are the new Palladini tarot, and David Palladini, um, you know, he had just finished art school when someone asked him to do take on a uh, a commission of doing uh, cards, and he did the Aquarian uh, tarot. Well, uh, 25 years later, uh, once he was an established artist, uh, he came back to the tarot and decided to uh, to make this new deck, and so um, more to his influence. And uh, this is published by U.S. Games. And the, the instruction booklet in this is run-of-the-mill, except for the uh, part where uh, they talk about the new Palladini Tarot, where they talk about the artwork, and where the, uh, uh, the artist actually speaks here. I mean, this is an interesting few little pages to read, so I don't know. I like it. But the cards themselves, let me spread them out so you can see them before we use them are really neat. If you've ever seen the Aquarian Tarot, it's kind of a muted set of colors and it's a great deck to use. Well, these are just more vibrant and um, really, really a nice deck of cards. I love uh, to use these cards. They're just really pop and it's easy to know what they mean and uh, they're great. David Palladini, thank you. But I'd like to do this so that you can get an idea of what all the cards look like and uh, maybe they'll help you figure out what cards you want to buy if you want to buy some more cards or your first cards or you know I used to always wonder uh, when I was just watching the videos uh, what the rest of the cards look like so that's why I do this new town new Palladini uh, tarot okay so this will be a four card Oracle you pick with dyadic cross finish four card Oracle you pick dyadic cross finish here we go these shuffled up so that you can make a choice of one, two, three, or four in this oracle you pick. Okay, so this will be one, two, three, and four. Okay, so you're going to see which of these works best for you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape at any time and um, if you need a minute to make a decision or maybe go get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a glass of water. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and now we'll reveal Number one, if that was your choice, this is the Three of Cups. You know, the Three of Cups are celebrations, cups are emotion, passion, compassion. And uh, so this is a very good card. This is a yes card. If you chose number two for your card, then this is the Four of Swords. You know, the Four of Swords is telling us to take a break. Uh, don't move too fast at your own peril. Uh, take a minute to uh, think about the situation, have some contemplation. And so this is a no card. If you chose number three is your card. This is the Two of Pentacles. You know, the Two of Pentacles talks just about our value. That's what Pentacles are, value, money, and uh, choices. And the Two of Pentacles is uh, keeping those things balanced. Uh, make sure one thing doesn't uh, take uh, precedence over the other one. So if you choose the Two of Coins, that's a yes card. The four choice, number four, is the Seven of Cups. You know, the Seven of Cups is often referred to as illusion and delusion. Okay, lots of choices to be made, but uh, they are choices that can move you forward. If you chose this card, number four, this is a yes card. Okay, I'm going to put those to the side and then get on 
with some detail for number one the three of cups. Shuffle these up just a little bit more and lay out five cards to finish off this dyadic cross for number one. Okay, cups of emotion, three of cups celebrations. Although these ladies don't look too happy. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, put this over here to work on the energy of those, waiting for their divinations. Okay, so the Three of Cups, uh, Celebrations, Signifier. That's challenged by the Ten of Cups, which is everything coming up, rainbows and sunshine. So, <clears throat> lots of value, lots of emotion, lots of compassion. So, how is that a challenge to the Three of Cups? You know, sometimes we take our celebrations a little too soon. When if we uh, recognize we wait just a little bit longer, there may be even more to celebrate than just the uh, what we think we've accomplished. There could be more behind that. The base of this reading, wow, a lot of cups. This is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is emotion, compassion. And she's completely in charge of all of her uh, emotions. So this is the base of this reading. This tells us that we came into this understanding our value uh, emotionally. And the past of this reading is the Knight of Rods. You know, Rods are movement, planning, motion, forward, fire. And the Knight of Rods is the uh, fellow in the Royal Suite who's going to take his charge. His, he's been given this rod, and he's going to go forth and uh, defend it, uh, make something happen. So we came into this uh, knowing that we had a plan or we needed a plan, and we were uh, determined to make it happen. And in the sky of this reading are the lovers. So the lovers from the Major Arcana are true partnerships. I mean, it's getting together with the right thing or the right person or the right people or the right situation to uh, accomplish what you need. And of course, that should be your goal is to start to look for some sort of a pairing that's going to uh, further uh, your uh, emotional uh, situation that you have. The final outcome in this is the devil. And so what that's telling us is that lesser intentions may rule here. And that's always the case when something is so flooded with uh, emotion as this is. And just to read it over again, so we start with a signifier of three of cups, emotional celebrations. It's challenged by the ten of cups, which is having just a plethora of uh, sunshine and rainbows and good feelings. Um, and that can uh, be uh, maybe a, a mask to the small celebrations that you started with. Hold back and you may see that there's more there uh, than you thought. The base of this reading is you are the Queen of Cups. You are in charge of all of your emotions, although you come into this with a strong mandate to get this plan done. Uh, you should look for pairings and partners to further your cause, And uh, but because it's such an emotional situation, if you're not careful, you can get caught up in some uh, ill intentions here. So that's a caution. Although this is a yes card, go forward with your situation, but just be careful um, of, of how this might take a turn. Okay, and incorporate these back into the pack and go on with the last, or the next rather, the last three of the next uh, choice, which is card number two. And if that's the one you chose, this is the Four of Swords. Okay, so the Four of Swords is uh, taking a break, uh, getting a breath, uh, considering your situation before you move on too quickly. Okay? Swords are truth, justice, uh, can be health. Uh, law, rules. So let's see what we get for four cards, or five cards rather, to finish off this dyadic cross. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So the challenge, the signifier then is that four of swords, and the challenge to that, taking a break, is the empress, who's fruitful, knowing, knowledgeable, uh, has everything that you uh, will need uh, to have the confidence to make this decision. So the way this is a challenge to the four of swords is sometimes when we feel very fruitful, we think, well, let's go ahead and get this done. I know what I'm supposed to do, but this just suggests that there's some room here for you to take a little more consideration before you move forward on this plan. The base of this reading is the Knight of Cups. So Cups are emotion, passion, compassion. And the Knight, like I said before, is the fellow who's going to take that uh, emotion or compassion and get the job done. And that's kind of how you come into this situation, knowing that this is perhaps this is an emotional situation and you want to come to a decision with it. Now, the past of this reading is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is really perfecting your craft to a point where it's just really perfection. 
okay? Uh, this really marries really well with the idea of taking a break to get a, a bead, to get an idea, to get a, a clearer picture on uh, what you think uh, you're ready to make a decision on. If you practice your craft to such a point that we think you are perfectly enabled, it's, it's not going to hurt. Just take a minute and really consider the uh, outcome of what you're going to do. In the sky, this reading is the Seven of Swords. See, this is a perfect uh, balance to the rest of this because the Seven of Swords is deceit, theft, deception. And uh, so I'm going to tell you that uh, with these Swords of Caution and both these issues, it's, it's going to be worth your while to take a beat before you make this decision. And then the final outcome is the last judgment. So this is a final situation. Whatever you do here is going to uh, create some finality, and then something new is going to start after that. So again, it just uh, emphasizes the importance of making sure that you take some time to get this uh, decision made. Don't jump into it, although you may be tempted to. Okay, the next card, number three, if that's what you chose, is the Two of Pentacles. And, of course, the Two of Pentacles, like I said, that's a yes card, and that's balancing the situation, making sure that you've considered uh, the options carefully uh, by weighing what can happen this way and what can happen that way. And it's even almost a, 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 a circus act, really. Wow. Okay, so number three card, Two of Pentacles. I'm going to take five more cards from here to finish that one. Let's go deep into this big stack over here. That's going to be number one. This will be number two, three, four, and finally five. Okay. So if you chose number three as your card, this two of pentacles is telling you to find some balance. The challenge to that is the chariot, which is are things happening at a rapid pace, something that's inevitable and that you really want to keep your eye on. So uh, if you could imagine, if you were uh, trying to, to uh, juggle a couple of balls at a rapid pace, that's not a, a, a perfect situation. So this is the challenge, the, the pace of this which is moving is a challenge to your achieving this balance. The base of this reading then is the four of rods, which are celebrations. The rods are action, movement, power, planning, and so we come into this with some sort of a small kind of celebration towards a bigger goal. The past of this reading, are all of these upside down? No, just this one. Okay, so the past of this reading is inverted. You know, I don't uh, like to um, uh, divine with in inverted cards because I don't trust actually my interpretation of those cards. But when they come up, and I've tried very hard to make sure they don't, I uh, address them. So this is the last judgment. I love it when the cards kind of repeat themselves. It kind of tells me that they're playing the game with us. Last judgment is finality. This is the end of this. We're going to be held to account for this. But you know, when this is um, inverted, I'm just going to say intuitively that this is telling us that this may uh, seem as if uh, this is going to be the, the 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 last judgment here. But that could in fact be a red herring, it could be a false uh, impression. Okay. So, and then the sky in this reading, this is the Ten of Rods. This is a heavy, heavy low. This re requires uh, thought and consideration and balance to get this done. And the final outcome of this is going to be temperance. And again, temperance. So this just reinforces the fact that we have to make sure that the atmosphere is right, the temperature is right, and that uh, everything is going uh, the way we want it before we just rush to judgment. So this is a yes card with some cautions in place. And I'm going to correct this one so that we don't have an inverted card for our next draw. The final card, then is going to be number four, if that's what you chose, and that's the Seven of Cups. You know, the Seven of Cups gives lots of choices, illusion and delusion, a lot of ways that a thing can come out. <clears throat> Everything may seem like an attractive choice, except maybe that serpent or even maybe that fire. But we need to pay attention to all the choices that are available to us, because sometimes even those dangerous choices are the ones <coughs> that will help us get to where we want to go. Five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So we put those over here. We're done with those for now. The Seven of Cups, Illusion and Delusion, lots of choices, uh, a plethora of, of decisions that we could make. 
challenged by the Six of Pentacles, which is a balancing out. Uh, this is uh, making sure that the scales are even, that we're taking the value, and we're distributing it uh, um, uh, evenly uh, amongst uh, those, or whatever the situation is, that we have to... Uh, deal with. The base of this reading then is the Ace of Swords. This is a great big offer of two, truth, justice, rules, uh, law. So we come into this with some sort of a sense of, of, of those things, truth, justice, rules, or law. In the past of this reading is the Queen of Pentacles. This queen is completely convinced of her value, of her worth, and somehow uh, we've come into this with sort of some, some sort of that reassurance if you think about it. The sky of this reading is the Two of Cups, and the two of cups of the lovers, maybe even some oath taking involved here. This could be uh, partnerships uh, for a lifetime, partnerships for now, or just a convenient uh, pairings that help you uh, get this decision done. So look for those sort of consequences that are going to be beneficial to this issue that you're dealing with. The final outcome for this is the three of rods, which is long term planning. Rods are movement, forward planning, and that uh, whatever we're doing here <coughs> can result and some long-term uh, effects. So that's the four card oracle for today. I hope some of that was useful to you. Good idea to think about it, mull it over. If it doesn't make sense now, come back to it. Or this may just not be the draw for you today, and that's perfectly fine. I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.